Hey guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my standard salary for the week of the 24th through to the 30th of October. Uh, the 30th is my daughter's birthday week, and she picked out this kit from Rebel Inco, which is just adorable. I think I picked this up last year. Um, so we have got three six nine four boxes and some like watercolor splotches. We've got the days, some like layering, some um, deco, some functionals, a little checklist there. We've got some more four boxes here. As, as first, I thought I bought two four box sheets, but I didn't because this one's got a Monday through Sunday habit checkers build room, more functionals, more functionals here, and some skull washi tape. So I've decided to bring in this kind of like cross washi tape. Well, out of my black ones, that's the one that Willow picked because she said, you know, crosses dead people because she's morbid like that. And I bought out this orange, which has got like a gold tinge to it. So I decided to bring in some gold date dots. And I also found, well, I didn't find, it was in my stash, Chic Streak Sticker Boutique. I thought some of these like orangey ones that I could use. Um, so yes, let's get started with the washi. So where's my, where's my skull washi? I might like alternate one at the top, one at the bottom, and then put the orange one that I'm using for the rest of the week down. How is everybody? I am, well, how am I? How am I? I'm okay. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I've been suffering with insomnia now for two weeks and it's like it's getting to breaking point for me at the minute now my I was meant to be seeing my care coordinator again today I rang yesterday because what what we've been doing is he's been getting some medication prescribed and then I try it and then um he comes and sees me the week after like if it's not worked I ring him up like a couple of days before he's due to come and then he'll like you know see see what we can do whether we can get any more yada 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 so i rang yesterday to speak to him because the medication that they gave me uh, he said right this is like literally because i am like massively i just think i'm i'm not immune but it takes a lot it takes a lot of medication to to work for me and uh, the med all the medication that i'm on is is um uh what's the word not so I keep meaning to say sedentary but that's when you sit down loads is sedatory a lot of the medication I'm on is sedatory it doesn't sedate me it it just doesn't none of it does I've been on it for too long and um, I don't see the point in taking it but because of the strength and stuff of it I can't just stop and with like things um hold on let me just do my normal monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday yeah with the um court case and things that i've got to do still in the air still don't bloody know when that's going to happen um i can't have any trauma work done which is the work that i need um i can't have any trauma work done until after the court case um is is what like um the barrister has said because they don't want to leave any room for the defense to say you know my memories have been tampered with or i'm only remembering things after the therapy so i've pretty much been solo um for for my whole life really but for seven years since this court this investigation first started um so i've been on medication a long time and i'm just used to it so we tried one medication and it kind of pissed me off a little bit because he gave me a medication that you can take, that you can bloody buy over the counter. And I'm like, because he told me on the phone what he was bringing and then I research it. And then he bought it and I was like, this is medication that you can buy over the counter. And he's like, yeah, I know, but it's got the same properties as like one of the other medications you're on. So it should like increase that and yada, yada, yada. And I was like, okay, great. This is amazing. Um, got all excited, you know, got to bedtime, had a bath, had candles on, but you know, you know, set, set the scene kind of thing for a nice relaxing night. Um, didn't work. Didn't even touch me at all. So, so the next time I was like, right, this, you know, I knew this wasn't going to work. I didn't go in it with a negative like mindset, but I tried and it's not worked. He goes, right. Okay. I'll talk to the, 
prescribing nurse so he spoke to him and then he came and he was like right this medication is the closest we're going to get to um without actually putting you to sleep <laughs> that's what he said to me and i was like okay right this this is what i'm after this is what i've been asking for um same thing again like i was a bit scared about taking it because i thought oh is it gonna like knock me out out um so same thing again did all the right things got ready for bed took my other tablets took all my tablets and like i put a podcast on because that's how i fall asleep and i started itching really really bad and um it did the opposite. I don't know if any of you guys have took Pro Plus or even like drank one too many Red Bulls or, or a bit too much coffee, but your heart beats really, really fast. And that's what it was doing. I felt like the complete opposite of what it intended to do, it did. And I was just like, is this a joke? Like, is it seriously? I, I, like, universe, speak to me. Tell me, tell me. tell me what's going on. Tell me what I've done to offend you because this is ridiculous. Like, it's literally doing the opposite of what it it's supposed to be doing um so i thought or well, maybe you know maybe it needs to get in my system so i took it again the second night second night exactly the same like completely awake like borderline manic awake and yeah so i took it the third time because he only gave me four tablets same thing happened again didn't bother taking the fourth rang up he's meant to be coming to see me today i've had a phone call this morning he's not bloody coming because he's poorly i hope he's okay but fucking hell like so I rang yesterday to speak to to him but he was he wasn't in the office um so I asked the receptionist you know drop him an email so at least he can see it cuz he's not he wasn't due to see me till this afternoon can you drop him an email so he can see it so he can ring me before he comes or you know speak to the prescribing thing or the psychiatrist or anything like that because like I'm on an emergency team um you know they have like, the psychologists they have prescribing nurses they have like so you can get things pretty quick um so yeah but obviously he, he hasn't spoke to anyone because he's been poorly uh, which i know isn't his fault guys do you know what i mean but i'm just like <sighs> give me give give me strength because it's like my, my i'm flipping over now as well so i'm literally up all night and uh, what did i say 24th oh that's annoying look the one's gone from there yeah i'm literally up all night and then um i'm up when the kids go school in the morning and then after the kids go school in the morning i'm like literally delirious so i go upstairs um and then from about half eight in the morning to half eleven what's that three hours i'm kind of in and out of some kind of delirious sleep and then i can't sleep again so i'm really struggling i went into the pharmacy yesterday i was like you know is there anything that could be done um He's like, you know, he didn't say I'm not going to touch you with a barge pole, but basically because of all the medications I'm on, and they're, they're, they're all medications that are prescribed by a psychiatrist, not by a doctor. Where's my bloody, where's my scripts? <gasps> if you leave me now, you take away the biggest part. Oh, what am I looking in these for? See, I'm delirious. My scripts are never in there. Never in there. They're in here. Rebel Inco stickers as well as Rebel Inco kits. I'm all Rebel Inco lately, aren't I? But you know, she's the girl is smashing it out of the park. Honestly, you want to get yourself on there. Um, she's got some Christmas things on there at the minute. Um, really cute, uh, like uh, uh, journaling stuff and kits. So I would highly recommend if you can get yourself on there because if you need any kits for Christmas, she's got you. She has got you. Right, I'm not going to use that because that, but I am going to use this because it's like the same size as a date box for my this week. I'm kind of happy that, um, let's get one of these ones. I do need to order some more. I need to go for all my stuff and I'm trying to be really good this year. I'm trying to um, only spend what I need to spend on like planner covers and stuff like that. Um, I love that. Witch, please. Bitch, please. Hey, if you've got it, haunt it, trick or treat. I put a spell on you. Oh my. Oh my god. Let's use. I want to use witch, please, because. 
stitch please help me this week so it is Willow's birthday on Sunday I'm really excited went out yesterday um, Chris drove because obviously delirious and uh, we went to Smith's me and Chris love going to Smith's if you're in America Smith's is like a massive like toy superstore it's just for toys and um, yeah we love going um, by ourselves <laughs> without the kids but like, it's good to take the kids and um, like especially for birthdays and Christmases and stuff like that we um, let them walk around and we have a nice long walk round and then we take pictures of everything they want but and we also get the catalogues as well so they can sit at home and they can like circle what they want and they are getting better I mean when they were younger they'd just they'd just circle everything I'll we'll be like mm hmm do you want everything from the shop you have to kind of minimize it a little bit Willow is definitely better Loki bless him he doesn't understand he doesn't get it He's like, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Tell you what I did last week. I'm on the right track, are not I? Oh, I used little little ones last week, didn't I? But I'm sure one of the other weeks I've used big ones. And I kind of liked it. I haven't. I'm lying to myself. Why do I lie to myself? They're all small, Becky. Uh, but I do want to use these boxes for layering something on. Right, what am I going to use for my YouTube, YouTube and Insta? YouTube, YouTube and Insta because we need to get those on there don't we let's use these on the bottom of here let's just use another header let's just use all the headers so there isn't enough headers for the rest of the week <laughs> yay so let's put a different one down first school update um, haven't been able to deal with it um, because of like lack of sleep and I don't want to be delirious when I'm trying to deal with it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, um, Casey. <laughs> Casey, Casey, Casey. What beeped? Something beeped at me. Oh, fucking no, Siri. Shut up, Siri. Close, Siri. Every time I say Casey, Siri thinks I'm talking to her. I'm not talking to you. Go away. Leave me alone. Let me get on with my life. He's still there. He's listening to everything that I'm saying. Um, right, I'll shut him down. Um, she swore at me. Like, <laughs> she, um, we were talking about school, and I was trying to explain to her that, um, one, I don't appreciate the phone being put down. And bearing in mind, I'm trying to, like, help this girl out, because she had her phone taken off her, and they lied about where she was. So, you know, that's what, that's what initiated all this. So, um... I said to her, you know, I spoke to the school today, uh, they put the phone down on me, I'm really annoyed. And I said to her, you know, they're really sending mixed messages to you guys by saying um, there is a no phone policy and yet they're asking you to go on phones. Oh, she went wild. That girl, she went wild. What are you trying to achieve? Nothing good's going to come of this. You're going to get phones banned in the school. And I was like, Casey, at the end of the day, you need to understand that they're sending you mixed messages and it's not appropriate for, like, the outside world. Like, rules are rules and they can't just be manipulated to suit someone. And I was like, if they wanted you to do research and things in class, then they'd need to provide the materials for you to do that. I'm not being funny, but you're very fortunate that you've got a phone when... Um, you know, that we can afford to do that for you. What about the kids that haven't? Everyone's got a phone, Mum. Everyone's got a phone, Mum. You've been so dramatic. I'm like, Casey, we didn't have phones. We didn't... Oh, pff, as soon as I said that. We're not you. We're not your generation. Just because you're old. Anyway, she stomped upstairs. And I was like, right, I need to calm down. She needs to calm down because she's blatantly a mini-me. And we're just screaming at each other. And, like, getting louder and louder. And it's not achieving anything. And Chris was like, well, Casey... He screamed at her to get upstairs because she was just tr talking like, shh, like, really horrible. Um, I put trick and treat on the 30th because... That's the sticker that Willow wanted me to. Yeah, so anyway, I sit down. And, like, something... Like, when she said to me... Screamed at me, what are you actually trying to achieve? I sat down and I thought... And I, I was already upset with myself for shouting at her. So I thought, right, you know... I don't want to get phones banned for them. Because I want her to be able to take her phone for, for security reasons. Especially because she gets a taxi home from school. Which is, like, 30 minutes away. And I just don't trust people. 
So I went up to her room, I knocked on the door, I went in, I'm like, Casey, shouting at each other and screaming at each other isn't going to get us anywhere. I wanted to, like, just have a, you know, conversation with her. She just started screaming at me again. And then, then, firstly, she said, because she knows that um, I was in care when I was younger. Um, she knows a little bit of the reasons why, but not all the reasons why. And the, the girl... The girl, we're calling her now, turned around and said, how would you know how stressful school is? You didn't even go to school. Like, you, you left school when you were 14. And, like, that kind of upset me. It like I'm like, she's throwing my past in my face. Like, and, and then she screamed, you're pissing me off. Get out, you're pissing me off. Oh, oh it was like... Give me your phone. It's, it's so comical. Cause you know, you know I mean, it's not comical. I was crying my eyes out in my room. But you know, I'm, kids have got so much fucking stuff. So I'm trying to punish you, and I'm like, give me your phone. Give me your watch. Give me your iPad. Give me your keyboard. Give me your mouse. Like literally anything that she can get onto any kind of um, electronics with. And I was like, literally. I'm going to need, like, a punishment basket when I walk out of her room. Because I, like, was balancing everything and I couldn't, like, fucking carry it all. And I was dropping bits as I was, like, trying to do this dramatic exit. Like, you fucking don't talk to me like that. And, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it was, it, it, it was comical, but it wasn't comical. Um, so, yeah. So, and I was upset. I was upset. Like, Chris was more upset because she said about 14 leaving school you know you don't understand yada 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 oh i've put the same i've doubled i've doubled i've doubled no uh yeah so chris was upset about that have i already used one of them i've used one of them that's like, this orange no no can't orange that's black so he was more upset about that i was more upset about the you're pissing me off because i'm like girl you are not talking to me like that you're you're not swearing at me i'm your mum like um, Chris went into her and I could hear him say, you're bang out of order, yada, yada, yada. Uh, a couple of minutes later, well, she comes in an hour later whenever, sorry. And I'm like, what are you sorry for? She's like, I'm just sorry for the way I talk to you. Dad told me to say sorry, so I'm sorry. And I was like, Casey, you know, I don't accept that apology. You're not sorry. You're not sorry at all. Dad's told you. I found this on the web for Casey, you know. Seriously, Siri, I'm not talking to you. How do you... I'm going to have to change her name when I'm talking about her. Right, now I need to find headers because I need one header. One header. Stupid, stupid headers. Please, give me a header, something. Yeah, so I was like, I'm not accepting that apology. Get out. Like, no. Um... So the first night, she didn't do her dishwasher, which is one of her chores for her homework. And she went to sleep early, and I was like, fine, that's great. She's not whinging to me that she wants. Come on, go have something orange. I haven't got anything orange. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Oh, I'm panicking. I want anything gold. Should I just... Oh... I'm going to know. I'm going to see that there's no header there. Oh, panicking. It's just, I'm just going to not have a header. What are you doing to me, Revelinko? Like, her kits aren't like this anymore anyway, I don't think. Well, I don't know, because I haven't had a standard kit in a while. But it's all right, I'll survive. Calm down, everyone, it's fine. Um, yeah, so the next day when she got home from school, she came in and she gave me a more sincere apology. Um, because I was like, well, what are you saying sorry for? She's like, you know, what I said, um, right, I'm going to have to use a reminder of what my, oh, throw that on the floor, what goes on in the week, even though you could probably tell me, I don't know, so, Monday, no, in fact, screw that, it's half term all week, it's half term all week, <laughs> half term, luckily Chris is off, yeah, she gave me, no, first she was like, what can I do to earn my stuff back? That's what she came and said. What can I do to earn my stuff back? I was thinking in my head, 
Hold on a minute, you haven't even bloody apologised to me. What can I do to her my stuff back? So I just stared at her and she goes, look, I'm really, really sorry. Like, I know I shouldn't have spoken to you like that. Um, I know I shouldn't have said about when you were 14. I shouldn't swear at you. It's out of order, yada, yada, yada. I'm just a pushover, guys. I'm a pushover. She, and I was like, right, just, just, you know, let me have a think about it. Let me, let me have a think about it. So I'm like saying to Chris, you know, she's came in, she's apologised. And he's like, she needs to be punished, Becky. I'm like, I know. He's like, she's been punished for a day. I'm like, I know. But on the other side of it, I'm trying my best, guys. I'm winging it. Like, I do remember when I was little, apologising for things. And, like, it not, it not, like, meaning anything. It, it feeling like it didn't mean anything. Like, I apologise, what's the point kind of thing. So, I don't want her to think that when she gives a sincere apology, and when I know, I can tell that she's been like thinking about her actions i don't want her to think that that goes like unnoticed so i said that to chris i was like look i agree with you she doesn't need to be punished she's only been punished for a day the 14 year old thing bothered me a little bit but didn't really bother me it was more like the swearing at me um that bothered me the most and he's like okay well you know you do what you want so i called casey in and i said this to her i said you know i don't want you to feel like your apology is completely wasted um so, you know, because initially I said, and I was adamant that she wasn't going to have it back for like a week until Friday. But I said to her, um, you know, I explained, you know, I feel like the apology was sincere. And that's the key here. And that's what I wanted to understand. I felt it was sincere. She said enough to me to make me believe that she thought about it. It wasn't just an I'm sorry. It was sincere. She thought about it and things like that. So I said to her, right, you can have your things back. But if you ever speak to me like that again, you know, it's, uh, I'm sorry, but, you know, it's, it's a full week. You're being punished properly. And I also said to her, um, if you get your phone taken off, you, so I'm a bad mum. I'm a bad mum. I know I'm a bad mum, but I looked in her phone and, oh, my sweet and innocent Casey, she's not so sweet and innocent. She's been taking pictures in class. She's been taking pictures. There's pictures from her phone that have been taken of, like, boys in the back of boys' heads and, like, girls doing the, you know, the ooh sign, like, the posing, ooh, like, look at me. So I'm like, bitch, you are not as innocent as your mama thinks. I haven't told her that I saw it, you know, because I don't want her to change her code. Um, but I did see it, so I thought, you know, you are not... Um, you, you lie, you lie to me, you're not innocent. So, um, yeah, I did say to her, right, if you lose your phone at school, um, we're not going to be able to pick it up until the Monday. Monday she does netball, so Chris gets um, manages to get the time to go and collect her on uh, a Monday. So if she loses her phone in school again, it's going to stay there until the Monday when, um, when he can collect it. So, you know, it's on you now, girl. You want to scream and swear at me for trying to help you with your with your phone? A broom. What am I going to do with a broom? I want to do a collect meds. So what, like a, a medical a medical a medical sticker? Got meds in here. Um, so yeah, I explained that to her as well, and I also told her that she's getting like half of her pocket money um this month because she hasn't been doing she hasn't been doing her chores so why why should she be getting why should she be getting her pocket money so yeah the story of casey i should just label this video standard nostalgia setup the story of casey shouldn't i right what we got on next week so Oh, Monday. Should we put, should we put, let's just put it in because I'm running out of stuff to put in here. Is my YouTube payday. Tell you what, guys, you definitely do, 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 you definitely do not do this for the money. You do it because you love it. But it is nice to have a little bit of extra. I'm trying to only, let's use this one. I'm trying to only spend what I make as well. Pfft, that doesn't work. 
uh, let's put you the bottom of the broom and just give you a YouTube payday. Right, oh, oh. My, uh, oh dear, I didn't know. I thought I had loads of time to do this. This is my uh, online exam. Oh, Tuesday, that's due. Oh dear. DD 308 ICMA online due date. I've got like a computer or something I can use. Yeah, so that's the story of Casey. Like, pff. I was talking to Kerry the other day, and I'm sure she won't mind me saying this, because it's like, it's nothing about her, it's me. But I was talking to her, and I was saying, you know, how difficult I find it, like, bringing up Casey when I don't have anything to, like, I need to say this without like offending anyone as well and you know I never try and offend people I always try to word things politically correctly but I'm not very good at it and when I say normal I know nothing's normal guys I'm not stupid but I'll just say it and then like I'm sorry if it offends anyone but I um because I was in care when I was 14 I've got nothing to um relate to in regards to parenting a teenager. So I don't know the wrong way to do it. Like normally if you have a really shit upbringing in the sense that your parents are rubbish, uh, your parents are alcoholics, your parents are young, your parents aren't mentally stable or whatever, you've got an opposite and you've got how you felt in that environment, like at school with a parent like this and things like that. I haven't got that. I haven't got anything to go, to go like, against or for I can't go oh my mum did this and I really love this and I really want to make sure that you know I do this for my children um I have pre-14 um and the good things in my life then I have re-implemented but I've got nothing to compare it to so I don't know how she's feeling in school I watch a load of like study tubers like young girls her age not because I'm stalking them, just because, you know, I want to know the stresses. I'm just seeing if there's anything else. Oh, the 26th, there is pumpkin carving on camp. That's nice. Let's get that in. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got nothing to... And I'll try and explain it to Chris, and he gets it. But he was a boy. And he's more like... Oh, I wasn't really bothered, you know, I wasn't really bothered. And that is between two and five. Uh, pumpkin carving. Well, I won't have. Oh, the a sleepover. See, it's all coming out now, isn't it? Willow's having a sleepover with one of her friends on her birthday. So. She's having some friends over for a hot tub party. Use the term party loosely because it's just pizzas and sleep over and she's picked the friend bless her that likes to sleep with the light on because she likes to sleep with the light and i just think that's really considerate of her um yeah so i haven't got anything to compare it to so i watch as many videos as i can like and stuff like that but you know sometimes you just have to go through it and live it and try and just wing it the best way that you can and that seems to be like what i'm doing so it, it is i do find it difficult and like you know, and then Kerry made me realise, you know, everyone, everyone's got their own thing. And I know, I know, I'm not stupid, I know everyone's got their own things. Um, but it's just like, she put, she made me feel a lot better about myself. Because, you know, we're all, we're all just here trying to do the best that we can. Uh, right, this needs to be um, skincare because I am slacking and do am and pm so if i do am i'll do a line if i do pm i'll do a cross and then journaling i don't know if it's because i've stopped journaling that i've not that i'm not sleeping and i say like i say to chris oh i'm not stressed i'm not stressed i'm not thinking about anything but everything's to the contrary like 
He's like, well, you sound stressed. And then he makes me angry. Because I'm, I'm not stressed. I'm telling you I'm not stressed. But I am stressed, aren't I? Because I'm dealing with all this stuff. Right, I found this in my little stash of Rooney. It's a Ideology by Tim Holtz. And I just thought, hey, why don't we put some quotes along the bottom? Because, you know, well, let's cheer yourself up a little bit. So, here we go. Start doing things you love. There we go. We like that, don't we? Uh, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. I like that one as well. You're a good one. Mm, bit long. Oh, it's a bit of a long one. That's not gonna not not gonna fit. You know, Phil, I'm just a girl standing in front of a guy wanting to be kissed or something. Believe in yourself. I'm just a girl standing in front of a teenager thinking, oh my God, I'm out of my league. Can't believe she swore at me. Focus on what's important. Yes, definitely. Definitely do that, Becky. Focus on what's important. Uh, uh... I just want to make nice things. I just want to make nice children. My children are nice. People always say that to me. They're always nice for the people, aren't they? At school, it really annoys me there. <laughs> oh, like, she's so liked and she's so lovely. She's a pleasure to teach. How is she now? Who's she now? I just have bitched about my daughter for the whole of this video. I don't feel like I've bitched about her. I feel like I've just bent it. <gasps> oh, um. But you can't do right for doing wrong, can you? You can't do right for doing bloody wrong. Let's put a ghost there. And let's put a hat here. And then let's put some deco by the old to-dos. Shall we? Give you a little, oh no, skull on skull. We don't want skull on skull. A candle there. These to do ones are I'll give you a skull there, a little pumpkin. I love my kids, I do. And I'll do anything to protect them and keep them safe and happy and healthy. And we can't win them all. Ooh, little wiggly, wiggly centipede. Ugh, don't like that. Go away. Mm, what else? Oh, let's just do some. I've got like a white pumpkin there. That's cute. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. See, like you'd think I was like, I had a million nights sleep and um, I'm so happy. But because I've been talking non stop, it's not, it's like, this is manic. This is, I'm manic. I'm manic right now. Not manic bipolar manic, but manic because I haven't slept manic. Right, that's it, guys. I mean, love that. Now, the biggest dilemma in the planner world, I said this to my husband at lunchtime when he came home. I'm like, do you know what? I'm really panicking because. Um, the first week of October of November starts on the 31st, which is Halloween. What am I going to do? I've got to do a setup for, no, for October, for no uh, for November. And the first day is like Halloween. I don't want to use a Halloween. <laughs> so I've decided that I'm just going to set up for November as fall, use my fall kits because I love them, and just put a happy Halloween, just stick a bloody happy Halloween on the, uh, or, you know, these are quite muted, so I can stick one of these on. Just say happy Halloween. It's not ruining my not ruining my setups. Didn't even use them in the end. But yeah, loads left. Love it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Sorry for talking a million miles an hour. Sorry for just talking about my child the whole time. And sorry for if I offended anyone. But here we go. I love it. I love it. It's just weird not having anything on and we need to we need to fill our days, don't we? I'm sure we booked a I'm sure we booked but on the thirtieth, which is the day before Halloween, we've booked some kind of Halloween event to go to. 
I know we have. I'll have to go through my emails to find out, which I'll do after. But I'm 100% sure it's like this. You can go there and there's like a little walk, spooky walk around, but they've got crafts for the kids and stuff like that. So, I and it's definitely the day before her birthday. I remember because I told her thinking she'd be excited. She's like, I just want to rest before my birthday. All right, 90 year old woman. Oh, I do want to show you this. Um, so plan with B because I've been going through like websites and stuff trying to pull out things that are going to be useful for my like 2020 setup and I just printed this on pink paper but it's a task reminders now we do have like where's my brain dump where, brain dump where are you I do have this like mind sweep triggers list to like uh, remind me what I need like as a brain dump but also tasks like I thought this was really good it's got all like decluttering things and clean your fans and different things that you wouldn't think of like on a on a brain dump so I printed that out in pink that out sounded right common then didn't I I printed that out in pink so I'm looking forward to to um to doing that so I'm going to stop rambling guys um I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up don't forget if you want to use rebel ink then use my discount code down below go to the website because it's cheaper and I will see you in my next video guys bye